People deserting Cuyahoga County by the thousands, leaving some neighborhoods abandoned. And this growing number of so-called zombie homes is bringing safety issues, dropping property values, even pushing more people out. The sheer volume of structures that are sitting out there unoccupied, who's going to maintain them? Tonight we're showing you the most abandoned neighborhood zip code by zip code. Five on your side investigator Joe Paganakis is crunching the numbers. All right, Joe, what's being done to stop all this? Well, the latest census released just two weeks ago showing Cuyahoga County with the ninth worst population loss in the country. The county launching a $30 million housing plan earlier this year, but will it be enough to stop the population drop? The top six Northeast Ohio zip codes where abandoned homes are choking the value out of neighborhood recovery. Incredible. Drive around. Just get in a car and drive around. Literally thousands of abandoned homes plaguing these zip codes. And it doesn't get better, it gets worse. Those neighborhoods have been destabilized. Neighborhoods with vacant homes that have little chance to ever be occupied again. The number of abandoned homes that are just vacant. No one's there. Causing even more people to leave. Some of the people have left and they moved out elsewhere. Experts calling it a foreclosure crisis hangover. A crisis that is now almost 20 years old and continues to bite us in the backside. And these zombie homes costing taxpayers plenty to maintain. The city spending over $2 million a year just cutting grass. I mean, come on, think about it. These are Northeast Ohio's most vacant zip codes, identified by the latest numbers from Adam Data Solutions. In some cases, vacancy rates three times the state average. 44137 Maple Heights, 7% of the homes vacant. 44103, the St. Clair Superior neighborhood, 11% vacant. 44105 Garfield Heights, 13% vacant. 44127 Cleveland's Broadway Historic District, 14% vacant. 44112 East Cleveland. Cleveland in the area of Shaw High School at 15.3% vacant and 44108 Cleveland's Glenville neighborhood at nearly 16% unoccupied. They don't realize what they're doing to the big picture. They're destabilizing neighborhoods once again. Cleveland Councilman Michael Palenzik's ward has one of the hardest hit neighborhoods. Palenzik blames Cuyahoga County for dramatically reducing property values in the zip codes with heavy vacancies. Where an elderly lady said, when I die, my house is going to be abandoned. We looked at her, why? She said, none of my kids want this house. Councilman Kevin Conwell blames discriminatory lending practices by local banks for the growing vacancy rates in those zip codes. They need to loan in the African-American community. People can't get their houses rehabbed, can't get their homes repaired, you know, uh, gutters, roofs, windows, porches. Until there's something that brings people back, new housing, uh, new development, something that gets people the confidence they need to stay, it's only going to get worse. And former Treasurer Jim Rokaka says finding the funding to take down 4,500 condemned homes is key to improving home values and dismal vacancy rates. And that's why the county, Joe, has really got to sit down with the city. As the city tries to stabilize neighborhoods, we need a partner from the county. We got to be, they need to sit down with city planning. And Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson announcing his neighborhood transformation plan, providing 700,000 in home improvement loans looking to keep residents in their houses. Well, Joe, we know the key here is to get people to move back into these neighborhoods. The question is, how do we get that done? Well, Kevin Conwell trying to do just that, hoping to build 40 new houses in his Glenville neighborhood, also building several new businesses. Danita, it's a start, but only a small start.